renowned French photographer Fabrice Ramlefe has a portfolio that includes Armani, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton. And now he's here in Shanghai as his career is taking a new direction. And the local fashion industry is hotly waiting his unique interpretation. He tells us how the vibrancy of Shanghai and its thriving fashion industry are giving him a burst of creative energy. Glamour, impact, appeal. There are few people in the world capable of seeing the fashion world the way Fabrice does. Now, after 15 years in Paris, at the top of his profession, he's setting up his studio right here in Shanghai and bringing with him an extremely unique approach. Fashion is like that. Fashion is not just an industry, a market, sell close to teenager. It's something very more cultural and very open. And I like fashion because it's the only one part of the professional photography or the photograph can explain something. A fashion photographer has much more extensive responsibilities than his counterparts outside the industry. He is intimately involved with every step in the prep and shooting process. He, along with the fashion designer, are part of a quartet that understands style and accessories, together creating a mood and tenor to fit the brand, imbuing it with style and grace that are quite simply picture perfect. I think for brown, it'd be elegant, simple, classic. It's very important to have something simple, as very nice, very clean. No bring the picture behind the, the dress or behind the model. Of the entire team, the photographer must have the best fashion sense. It requires a wealth of experience with big brand names and a broad portfolio which often includes cosmetics, ladies wear, luxury goods, and automobiles. Fabrice is known for his unusual ideas that often highlight the essence of his subject. This has become the solid base of his success. I think a photographer is never successful because uh, if you think you are do your better picture, you stop. Fabrice traveled halfway around the globe to finally arrive in Shanghai. Here, he finds a world totally fresh to him, a world that seems far, far away from Paris. For him, it is a creative treasure trove, one he explores with zest. I think if you come in a country very different, if you start to compare in my country, I eat that, in this country, never you are open on the country. And it's very important to stop to, to, to have a comparison on just life, on enjoy or look. It is the camera that defines Fabrice's open approach to fashion and culture. The street is his studio. And now, Shanghai has become his stage. It seems Fabrice has caught a buzz that thrills him. And it's not just the young Chinese faces. It's a reborn passion he remembers from those days long ago in Paris. Up next on City Beach, we preview the ultimate in home entertainment. Spectacular light and sound, but watch out for the price tag. <laughs>